If you're dating a Jamaican, have Jamaican friends, or you just want a good laugh, this video is for you. Hey, it's Yasmina Delahad from the Jamaican Experience with Yaz, where I bring you a Jamaican experience that transcends sand, sea, and sensimilia. In this video, we're going to be talking about 10 things that Jamaicans absolutely hate. 10 things we cannot stand. <laughs> Thank you for clicking on this video if you're new here. Welcome, this channel is about all things Jamaican. So, if you like the video, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content like this. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Yazzle. This week, I actually have a friend here with me. We're having a bit of a coffee chat and we're really discussing 10 things that Jamaicans absolutely hate. Trust me, there are more things that we hate, but we have, we have been able to narrow down the list to 10 things that we just really can't stand. Of course, not everything on this list will apply to all Jamaicans. We can't speak in such absolutes. But if you want to know more about what we hate or you just want a good laugh, stay tuned. Stay with us until the end of the video. All right, let's get into it. We're going to do a countdown. Of course, starting probably from the lesser, if any of them can really be considered lesser, because I think we just hate all of these. Number 10, shoes in the house. Now, Kareen, how do we feel about shoes in the house? Generally speaking, Jamaicans, how do we feel about dirty shoes, shoes from outside coming in the house? Honestly, I think it's one of the worst things you could ever do. From I was little, you just know, don't wear the shoes in the house. Especially, you know, you just wipe out the house first thing in the morning and then somebody come in with shoes. And that's a note. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of course, you wear your shoes outside and you pick up all sorts of things. And we pick up everything, right? And so nobody wants that filth in their home. So if you visit a Jamaican house, take out your shoes at the door or at least ask them and then you will know. Number nine. Okay, we hate when guests come to your house, like guests that you didn't invite, you know, that cousin that just showed up from nowhere. Worse if they start to snoop, and worse if they're going in your fridge. Like, what's that about? Like, first of all, we didn't invite you. Secondly, why are you going in the fridge? Um, did you put anything in there? So, Karine, oh, really, how we feel about that? Honestly, that's not something I've experienced, but I cannot imagine anybody just walking in and just heading into the refrigerator. That's just a no-no for me. I have experienced it because I get a lot of guests to my home and they tend to go to feel like they're at home even if you didn't say that. That's all I have to say. And so, let's just say... I really hate it. If you go to somebody's home for the first time or you're not that friendly with them, please do not open their refrigerator. Also, stop inviting yourself to people's <laughs> home. Let them invite you to their home. Okay? Number eight, dogs in the house. How do you feel about that? Okay, for me, I dogs in the house for me is an absolute no. To be honest, I don't dislike dogs. I am okay with dogs. Um, Jamaicans on a whole, they we, we generally have dogs, you know, but we have them outside. We take care of them, then get the bone. <laughs> and the cornmeal. The, and the cornmeal. <laughs> we, we get them food, you know, we get the chicken skin and all of those things. So we take care of them, but we take care of them outside. We don't bathe them, to be honest. That's a general rule, well. right? <laughs> we do? No, yeah. no do we do it though? No, like on a. a not, like, maybe, maybe not routinely, but yes, the dog would be. Some of them free the water though. Well, let me tell you something. I grew up in a home where there were dogs outside. We never paid them once. <laughs> we fed them though. They got feed every day. We fed them. No, though, no. I noticed in recent times a lot of Jamaicans have dogs. Some people are carrying the dogs around in their purse and. The kiss up thing and um that's great for them you know but generally speaking in jamaica we're still not there yet on a large scale where we want dogs in our home pets in our home actually we don't really want pets in our home like dogs and cats like at my house at my home now i have pets i have cats 
um, but they're not allowed in the home. And they know they're not allowed inside, so we train them. And we love them, we feed them every day, but we just don't allow them to be in the house. That's all. So now we're on to number seven, and that's we hate, we really don't like people who don't like to take a shower. Now, that sounds funny. I mean, like everybody don't like people who don't like to take a shower, but what do we mean by people who don't like to take a shower? Taking a shower in Jamaica is every day. You must bathe at least once, at least every day okay and that's so if you wake up in the morning and you don't bathe and you go to your bed and you don't bathe one day it's a no <laughs> it's it's a no it's a no for us especially if you know you're going to be taking public transportation and there's also the fact that we just kind of just think that everything that we don't do nasty <laughs> so the general rule obviously doesn't apply to all is if you get up in the morning and you don't bathe and you go to your bed and you don't bathe, you nasty mm -hmm. and we don't like it. Number six, people who wash their hair in the sink. Yeah, and that's the kitchen sink, right? So, um, as Corinne would say, why? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> so here in Jamaica, we obviously Obviously, this does not only apply to Jamaica, but this is this is the, the case in Jamaica. Our kitchen sink is for food and food only. The bathroom and or even an outside pipe, you can go out there and wash your hair, wash your foot, whatever you want to wash, bathe your baby. But do not try that in the kitchen sink the kitchen where we prepare food. I mean, bodily fluids, body and and food. Uh 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 uh. It's a no for us. Right, nah. mm -hmm. nope. Number five, bad driving or bad drivers. Now, here is the thing about this. Karin, talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, if I know road rage, when somebody bad drive, a Jamaican driver, I see some colorful words. She means expletive. <laughs> 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 so, for me, I drive, you know, I'm... I've spent years um, being on the road quite a bit, and I have to tell you that I have a completely different personality when I'm driving. In fact, when I'm driving with my children, I have to be so cautious not to slip. Because, let's listen. It's funny, you know, because here in Jamaica, lots of people get their license by some means that are not exactly um, <laughs> straightforward. Because there's, there's that, a lot of people, are many people, don't know how to drive. They don't know the rules of the road, they don't know who have the right of way, they, they don't understand those things, and that's probably why we have so, many, so much accidents on the roads here. But we really hate bad driving, even if, you're a bad driver. Even if we're a bad driver, <laughs> we've been cussing the other person for something they did when we did the bad driving. That's so, true. you know, it's like, it's, it's crazy here. Jamaican roads, listen, people will fight. I've seen people come out of them care for war for bad driving. <laughs> so, it's well serious in Jamaica. You know, we hate bad drivers down here. Despite the fact that we probably have a uh, high percentage of bad drivers. That's all. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> Korean <laughs> as eight, Jamaicans generally hate little bit of food, especially if we're paying for it. So here's the thing. We hate a little bit of food even if it's for free, but especially if we're paying for it, that is not acceptable. Right? Korean, right. how do you feel about looking at that food? <laughs> me, I'm a person that loves food and anybody who knows me will know I love my food and if you give me a little bit of food, that's a big sign of disrespect. Big, big disrespect. Okay, here's the thing about me and this food thing now. If I am a visitor at your home, the truth is, I don't even know what to tell you that I eat, if I eat a lot or I eat a little, because I have times. But if I'm a visitor at your home and you give me a little bit of food, 
Honestly, I'm not even going to say anything, but I feel hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel like boy that's something I mean, like what people you already know <laughs> but if I'm paying for it honestly I'm going to voice it or it depends on the type of restaurant like if it's a you know a little upscale type of restaurant all I know is me not go back because I feel especially if it's expensive and then they give you that because you know those restaurants always give you that little bit of food oh yes when it's the more expensive the, the less, less the food, food. <laughs> And so, of course, we don't want the plate to pack up, you know, like countryman style. But we definitely like to have a good portion, you know, on our plate. And we like to see enough protein. However, if it's a box food thing, you know, say road food, carbohydrate is half heavy. No fries, holy per gravy. <laughs> Right? Yes, yes, In the particular, holy yes, yes, <laughs> Right. So, generally speaking, Jamaicans don't like lick a bit of food. Number three, standing in line or waiting for things, period. <laughs> we don't like, Jamaicans hate waiting. Listen, we will pull up at a restaurant literally just order our food and after maybe two minutes we start complaining why don't take long to serve the food though and then we start calling the waitress miss how long is it going to take oh uh, because we're hungry you know from morning we're hungry like yeah and especially <laughs> if you go into a restaurant you know you don't eat before you go because you know you expect yeah, i do that all the time yeah and then you're waiting there for 30, 40 minutes. No, but the truth is, Corinne, we will get there, but we will pull up, literally pull up, order our food, and start cause that, 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 that's what take long for come. That's not true. So there is that. And then, of course, we, you do know that there are some restaurants that legitimately take way too long to serve the food. And the waitress disappear for 10 minutes, and you want some water, or you want something to drink. But generally speaking, and the line thing don't, it's not just about food, you know, the line thing extends to anything. We don't like line for food, we don't like line for, all if we are big, we don't like line. Actually, we don't like big. Actually, that's not true. Some people like big. <laughs> but we don't like people who like big. Yeah, but we don't <laughs> like people who like big. <laughs> that's true. Number two. Okay. Children that has no manners. Pickney when i have no manners we hate jamaicans hate children that don't have no manners i'm sure it's not just jamaica but or or what we consider as a child that doesn't have any manners is actually probably more extreme than a lot of other places at least in this part of the world so for us um children must address adults by miss mr miss you know some title or auntie uncle something you don't just call an adult by their first name no to be honest for me personally i don't have a problem if um one of my friends children which they usually don't call me by my first name but i really don't have a problem because i feel like we've changed quite a bit um but for my kids i don't i don't really allow them to call adults by their first name sometimes i do but i will correct them because you know them watching up tv and they see kids calling adults by their first name but i would prefer that they address adults by miss mr some sort of title how do you feel about the, the, the that green so i grew up knowing that you know you always put the title before an adult's name but i took it so seriously when i went when, well i still do that even my cousins that were older than me i used to call them auntie and you know <laughs> oh yeah that's a thing actually i always felt weird about that but it was a yeah. thing yeah it was a thing that we had to do it like like if you have cousins that are adults you don't refer to them by their yeah, first name the funny thing though if you have a sister or brother you do refer to them by their first yeah. name so it's a weird <laughs> kind of thing you know it's probably culturally specific um but i know there are other cultures like i know for sure the arab culture they're big on respect and Indians as well, I know also, you know, you do, you ma ma'am, miss, mister, or something like that. It's very common. Um, it's just really this certain part of this part of the world that 
really the pity them not have no manners. And and I agree that the pity them not have no manners. I think you need to acknowledge that an adult is an adult and a child is a child. If you're interacting with Jamaicans, especially if they're elderly, like my generation will accept the first name and don't think anything of it. But you see the older generation, believe me, don't try it because they will put you in your place. You and your child. <laughs> They will put you and your picnic in their place. Okay? <laughs> Number... <laughs> Number one. And this one is a big one. Big, big, big one in Jamaica. We hate... Bad man. Bad man, people. We hate bad man. Now... If you are not Jamaican and you don't understand what we mean by bad mind, sound it out. Bad mind. We literally have a phrase for persons who, how do you define bad mind? <laughs> don't like to see you progress or will go at length to interfere with your progression. Haters. 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 Haters in every way. If you want to know what bad mind is, it's really just people who are haters, people who don't want to see you as Corinne said, progress, prosper, or they pretend as if they're okay with your success, but secretly they're haters, right? And they wish bad for you or they talk bad behind your back. We call them bad men. The whole and everything there is in the same category. It all sum up to bad men, haters. And we hate haters, right? <laughs> we got a lot of things to say. To but haters and it's not appropriate for this channel. <laughs> the one bad man. That wasn't that a song? There was a no, song. you're too bad man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the thing. And that's it for our top ten things that Jamaicans hate. Now listen, there are just so many other things that Jamaicans really hate, but these ones had to be on our top ten because these are hot, hot things. So these are just everyday things that we just hate. I hope you enjoyed this coffee chat. Also, I hope you enjoyed my co-host, Kareen, bringing you some different flavor. And if you like the video and you wanna see more great content like this, type yes in the comments below. Also, remember to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content like this. We upload videos every week, so hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a video when we upload. Thank you for watching. Yay. Thank you for watching. And remember, Jamaica is not just a place, it's an experience.